today, good day from Burlington, Iowa. Picking up some tires here today that are going back to Saskatchewan, or Saskatchewan as it's better known. Got to deliver those into Lang Bank on Monday. It is Friday today when I'm filming this. get these tires put on my trailer get them tied down and get on the road because I'm stopping by at home on the way so we'll be home tomorrow in 300 meters turn left onto North Roosevelt Avenue maybe I will maybe I won't what Real quick before we get started here, today's shout out goes to our friends at Full Snot. All of the cleaning products you need to keep your truck shining, go down below to my description where you can find a link to their website, brownox.com for the US, and Bull Snot Canada for up here in Canada. Go check them out if you like a clean rig. Let's get on with the video. So I'm ready to rock and roll. Got these all tied down, as tight as I possibly can. Maybe we can hit a blue beacon on the way home. Let's go. Home is at the end of this trip. Or on the way. Not technically the end of this trip. Home is tomorrow. On the way to Saskatchewan where this trip will end. And then I go home. And then I have about a week off. Uh, so we're going to uh, Louisville for a day. And I'm flying back for my son's birthday and then we have a doctor's appointment and then I'm back at work all of that's gonna take up the next week so I'm excited let's get going in 500 meters take the entrance to the ride on US 34 West staring straight at it I'm like no no that's not it I'm looking for the on-ramp that's a side street I drive past it no that's not a side street that's the on-ramp How many miles is 1,300? 
1,373 kilometers. 1,373 kilometers is equivalent to 853.143 miles. So we'll get there tomorrow. We'll get pretty close tonight though. Somewhere in North Dakota, maybe Grand Forks, maybe. We'll see.
Got myself excited there for a second. Look, oh, making pretty good time. Look at this, we're at the 29. No, Josh, no. Don't be silly. We are making good time, but not that good time. We'll get ourselves onto the 35. Like we're gonna hit Minneapolis. Block this road for 186 kilometers. In about two hours. That'll be six, seven, eight o'clock. So rush hour should be over by then. Should be able to buzz right through, right through the city. St. Cloud, Minnesota. My WEX app that's connected to my fuel card isn't working right now and isn't telling me, it's not telling me the prices of fuel around here. So I'm just going to St. Cloud because I know they're usually around the cheapest, but I don't know. Yesterday, Quick Trip was cheaper. I don't know what happened to this app. Maybe it's down for maintenance or something? The app itself opens up, but it's not telling me any fuel prices you anywhere. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Pilot Travel Center. So we'll see if it works in the morning, and if not, I'll have to make some phone calls or send off some emails or something. I need to know where the fuel prices are the cheapest. I, I need to know. How am I supposed to save a penny if I don't know where I can save a penny? plus weekly after all expenses without owning equipment yeah there's gonna be a big catch on that one <laughs> there's gonna be a big catch on that one you can take ten thousand dollars home every month as a company driver making one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year take home after all expenses I'm gonna call BS careful for those uh well, then again, why? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going. I, I smell BS.
There's some places out there you gotta be careful of. Some places they'll tell you anything to get you in the door and sitting in one of their seats. I'm glad that we're not like that. We are honest. We'll tell you like it is. Won't sugarcoat things. You know, it's tough being out here. Like bringing home $10,000 a month as a company driver. I mean, if that's true, it's not. What kind of stuff are you, are you hauling solid gold? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go out there and fuel my tanks up. I have no idea what the price is for me here. I know what the posted price is. That's not my price. I get a special price because I get discounts. We have a fleet card, we, we share whatever, you know how it works. Uh, our company, all of the trucks, all of our, our guys, we all run off the same fuel cards, not the same card. We have our own cards, but it's the same company. And the more fuel we buy at certain places, well, the cheaper, well, yeah, the more discounts we get, right? That's how we get discounts. And I have this app that's called Wex Card Control, and it's supposed to tell me what all the fuel prices are. My price, not the posted price, my price. And it's not working today. This is a crisis. I don't know what I'm paying for fuel here. So I can see my transactions here in the app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fuel it up and look at my transaction, find out my price that way. But by that point, the fuel's already in my tanks. And I, I was, the, the opportunity for me to choose was stolen from me, you know? <laughs> What if it was cheaper a quick trip again today? Because yesterday it was 11 cents more per gallon here at Pilot in St. Cloud than a quick trip in Clearwater. 11 cents cheaper over there. And usually it's the other way around, right? Usually this place is way cheaper. So, when in doubt, I mean, I'll just go with what's safe. St. Cloud usually has cheap fuel. I don't even know if I'll need this. I broke out the old hat earlier today in Iowa. It was warm. Let's see. Oh, it's definitely chillier here now. For real this time. In 500 meters, change to the right on at 29 North US 81. Karen, I was gonna tell them. For real this time, merging on to I-29 North. I'm gonna have to pull in somewhere for the night very soon. Running out of hours, I got 43 minutes left. I think I'm gonna pull in here, somewhere. Flying Jane loves are behind us now, to the south of this intersection. I'm gonna go up to, uh, what's it, Staymark? On the north end of town here. See if I can find me a spot. Call it a night. Continue along this road for 247 kilometers. Kind of figured I wouldn't be able to make it to the border tonight. At least we got here into North Dakota. We did pretty good. Hopefully we can find a spot here. I don't have too much time to play with. Oh yeah, it looks like there's plenty of parking. Looks like it. it. Looks can be deceiving. Let's get in here and find out. Oh, there's some spots here. Oh yeah. Lots, lots of room. Fantastic. Let's see if we can find ourselves a. Oh, these are all reserved. Since when do you have reserved spots? That's why they're all open. How about that one over there? This one reserved over here too? More and more of these truck stops. Yes, looks like 
it's not reserved. Okay, good. Good. Oh, wait. Yes, it is reserved. These are all paid parking now? Are you kidding me? That's why half the truck stop is empty. Come on, Staymart. That's disappointing. Let's go and do another loop, see what else we can find back here. Like, I understand you're trying to make extra money, you're taking advantage of it, but... I'm adamant, I'm not paying to park. working a long day. I can't afford to pay every night. I can't believe it. This whole truck's like half empty. That's just infuriating. Infuriating? You can tell I'm tired. Infuriating. And they got all these drop trailers in the free spots. Oh, come on. End of my day. Don't do this to me. Look at this. All this empty space off on the right. Shame. Shame. No. Imagine all the business they lose in the store. This place used to always be packed. Now nobody parks here. Half their lot's empty, which means they have half the customers coming into their store. I was just grumpy. It was the end of the day. I was just like, well, he pays for us. I don't want to pay. But seriously, it is a little bit overkill. But I realized why they started doing this. I'm like, wow, they sort of like paint the lines just like Pilot Flying J. They sort of look like they had that little reserve sign painted on the ground in front of the spots over there. Wow. Went inside. It is a Pilot Flying J now. Stay Mart was bought out by, uh, what is that called? One Call? One Nine Fuels? Is that what it's called? It's all owned by the same people. So those same people that own Pilot Flying J now own Staymarts here. And they put in paid parking. Okay, now, Josh, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I do have nice things to say. I like Pilot Flying J, it's my favorite place to stop. It, it really is. I like it that it's on both sides of the border. I like their point system, their showers. You guys know me though. I mean, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm wrong. I'm okay with that. I don't like paid parking. I know in Europe it's a big thing. I don't want that to become a big thing here. I can't afford to pay to park every night. That's a lot of money. Every single, can you imagine every single night? That's Groceries and bills are already so high. Everything keeps going up, 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 up. And now it sort of, it, to me, it sort of seems like insult to injury. You know, we're already hurting. And then they'll be like, you know what? You were able to park here for free before. Well, not for free. Like, I mean, they expect you to go inside and support them inside then, right? That, that's what I always did. If I park somewhere, I always go inside. I spend money inside to support them. As a thank you for letting me park here, I appreciate that. But now it's like, oh, we're changing that. We know you're suffering. We're gonna slap you with an extra charge. Uh, and that's their right to do. I understand, that's their right to do that. I, I get it. Maybe if I was in their position, maybe I would do the same thing. I would hope I wouldn't. Being a trucker now, I don't think I would. I, I really don't think I would because I've been one of the out, most outspoken people against paid parking. I understand when there's like 10 spots reserved. It's nice that when you're coming in late, especially guys who deliver like reefer loads and stuff, they come in late to a truck stop. They want to make sure they get a spot. And I think that is perfectly fair to allow there to be a certain amount of paid parking, like reserved parking, so that you can show up at three in the morning and be guaranteed a spot if you pay. 
right? So there's that part of it. That makes sense to me. So it's not that. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I, 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 maybe it's not that big of a deal. What do you guys think? You know, that's a conversation that we can have together. What do you guys think of this reserve paid parking? I've sort of shown you the, the positives of it. When you come in at 3 a.m., if you paid for a spot, you'll have a spot. But also, if you can't afford to pay for a spot or if uh, you know things are tight and the whole parking lot is paid spots, like, like dozens and dozens of paid spots, how do you feel about that? You see, my thing is that I have to stop. I would have gone home last night. I had lots of energy. I could have kept going, but federal regulations say that I had to stop. So I have to stop. I only had, what, half an hour left by the time I got in here and everything. I had to stop. Not by choice. Because I had to. So shouldn't the people that are making us stop be responsible for providing us with a place to stop? If they're in charge and they make all the rules and they have the fines that if you... If you break those fines you can get in trouble oh, big trouble big fines those people want us to stop okay shouldn't they make sure that there is a good safe place for us to stop deep conversations right at the end of the vlog I know I know light up my comment section guys go down there and let me know what you think of this whole issue I'm, I'm excited to hear all sides of this see you tomorrow everybody thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe go down below to the description click on my links and find my social media there I'll see you guys tomorrow.